Alright, uh, just doing a uh, mosaic uh, border around uh, a shower that we're building here. Um, what I found is this, this is my first shower here, so my first tiling job, so other than I did one floor. But anyway, so I've, uh, this is the this is the mosaic that I'm gonna the trim that I'm gonna put around this uh, uh, sh shower surround. So last night I put this in, but it ended up being really wavy, like it's high here, low here, and it's sticking out here. It didn't it didn't turn out very good here. I kind of feel it. There's a couple of spots, you know, once the grout's put in there, uh, it might turn out a little bit better, but. Um, anyways, this was like really thick. It was probably uh, almost three quarters of an inch of mortar. Uh, there's the the, tile, the the porcelain tile that I'm using is three eighths of an inch, and uh, this is a little bit. This mosaic is a little bit thinner than three eighths. It's probably a quarter, about a quarter of an inch, or around there. So what happened is, if you look right here. I've got a lot of I've got a lot of uh, mortar, you know, which is like normal. But when you're putting something like this on here, I'll move it over here. You can see the difference in the, the height here. So it's so when you put a lot of mortar sticking out here, you, when you're pushing in it, it's, it becomes it's it's like a wave, and it's really hard to everything wants to fall, everything wants to shrink when you're pushing it in there. All the grout goes through these holes and they start coming in here what you want is a nice clean grout line so what I'm trying right now as you can see you know there's like uh, it's just too it's just too thick of mortar it was runny and it, it wants to run down down the wall and it's just really hard to, to hold it in place so what I did was up here I put a thin I filled I put the thin set in and I made a couple of uh, templates here. So this is like a five inch. This is like my this out of aluminum, and I notched it out the same thickness as the tile here. So you can see the space in behind there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the thin set in there, and I'm going to fill that all in so it's nice. So it's like building the wall out. So so like I did up here. So if you look here. I've got it so that it's nice and uh, straight all the way across and if you have to you can before it gets really dry like the next day you can sand you can sand down any high spots so I've got two templates here one's for the middle this is a four inch uh, mosaic tile so I'm so that's what I'm gonna do there so so I kind of I'll show you the difference up here so when this sits in there it's all nice and even. I've got about a one eighth uh, space along the top and the bottom. It's nice and nice and flat. So I'm gonna use this other trowel. I was looking for a one eighth uh, trowel, but I think I'm gonna use this. So basically, you're just gonna get this with a V notch, or I was looking for a one eighth uh, square trowel, but I couldn't find one where I was at. And then you want to make sure you butter the back of the uh, tile here. And you should be able to just set it on there and there should be just enough mortar where all you got to do is just give it a little press and it should turn out pretty good. So anyway, um, so what I got here, I'm going to try out my new tool here. So I mixed, so I mixed some mortar here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use a regular spatula or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to put this in there like this, work it all in. So I'm going to put it pretty heavy. So I'm just going to give you a quick little demo of what I'm actually trying to achieve. Is I'm going to use this tool here, and I'm going to hold it square. 
and I'm going to drag it so I maintain a, so you see I missed a spot there so I need a little more, you got to put it on there pretty heavy, make it a little bit more above, you know, whatever you think, above flush here, like, okay, so what I'm going to do, so I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to drag it across. And there, so you're gonna end up with a nice flat spot here. So you're gonna let that dry, come back the next day, and then we're gonna install the mosaic tile there. So, and that should uh, fix the problem that I was dealing with uh, yesterday and save you a lot of time. So that's about it. So anyway, we'll uh, I'll send some pictures and uh, show you what it looks like later when it's done.